Hi guys! Welcome to NG Nerd Math Channel. In this video, we will solve a particular trending type of math problem online. So if you want to learn more about this, just keep on watching. Okay, so there's this one problem that is being posted online, particularly in FB, about different objects that are being used to form different equations. And then at the end, there is this challenging problem, particularly this integral problem that we need to solve involving this object. So particularly, we have in this problem, a glass of beer, a burger, a mug of beer, and then a hot dog sandwich. So let's try to solve this one. So the first thing that we need to do is to solve for the single value of its object. So for the first equation, we have 3 glass of beer that is equal to 30. So let's denote this glass of beer as, let's say, x. So therefore, we have 3x is equal to 30. Dividing both sides by 3, we have x is equal to 10. So therefore, a single value of beer is equal to then for the next equation, we have a glass of beer, let's denote by x, plus 2 burger. Let's denote a variable for burger as b. So we have a beer plus 1, 2, 2 burger equal to 20. So we can solve for b when we substitute the value of x, which is the value of beer, that is 10. So we have 10 plus 2b is equal to 20. So transpose 10, we have 2b is equal to 20 minus 10, or 2b is equal to 10, divide both sides by 2, b is equal to 5. So a single value of burger is equal to 5. For the third equation, it involves now mugs of beer. So let's denote a single mug of beer as y. And then we have a burger, so we have b plus, so since we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 4 mugs of beer, we have 4y equal to 9. To solve for the single value of a mug of beer, we need to substitute the value of burger that we have, which is 5. So we have 5 plus 4y is equal to 9. If so we transpose 5 here, we have 4y is equal to 9 minus 5. Or 4y is equal to 9 minus 5 is 4. Divide by 4, we have y is equal to 1. So therefore, the single mug of beer is equivalent to 1. Now that we know all the values of our objects here, which, which is, is a glass of beer that is equal to 10, a burger that is equal to 5, and a mug of beer that is equal to 1, we, we can, can now proceed to the actual question. So, so by the way, if we denote this hot dog sandwich as let's say H, and if we try to substitute all, all the, the values of the objects here in the question, we have integral of, so the lower limit is burger plus burger minus glass of beer so b plus b minus x right and then infinity then we have a glass of beer which is x sine of hot dog sandwich which is denoted by h over two mugs of beer which is 2y and then a hot dog sandwich which is h and then the b hot dog sandwich or dh so let's try to substitute all the values so we have integral of so x is what 10 so 10 sine h is as is over 2 y is 1 times h as is there's no value it just serves as our variable dh and then for the lower limit we have b plus b so 2b the value of a single burger is 5, so 5 plus 5 is 10, minus x, which is 10 also, and then infinity. So simplifying, we have integral of 10 divided by 2 is 5, so 5 sine h over h dh from 10 minus 10 is 0, and then infinity. So since 5 is constant, we can just put it beside the integral symbol so it is equal to 5 integral of sine h over h dh from 0 to infinity 
So when we try to integrate this type of integrand sin h over h, we won't be able to find an antiderivative that is an elementary function. So, so what we will try to apply to solve this problem is the Laplace transform. So let's recall some concepts about Laplace transform. So the Laplace transform of, let's say, a function f of t is equal to the integral of e raised to negative st f of t dt from 0 to infinity. Okay? Also, we have the theorem that the Laplace transform of f of t over t is equal to the integral of f of s ds from s to infinity where f of s is the Laplace transform of f of t. Okay, so same as this. So let's look at first the first definition for the Laplace transform. Let's say our f of t be equal to the actual integrand that we want to find which is sine t over t we have from the definition it is equal to integral of e raised to negative st then f of t is sine t over t dt from 0 to infinity and this will be a function of s and then for this part the Laplace transform of f of t over t so, so this time let f of t be equal to just sine t and then if you want to find the Laplace transform of sine t over t it is equal to the integral this one of f of s ds from s to infinity where f of s is the Laplace transform of f of t so since we let f of t be equal to sine t the Laplace transform of sine t is equal to what so we know that it is equal to 1 over s squared plus 1 so therefore, we can substitute that f of s here as 1 over s squared plus 1 ds evaluated from s to infinity. We can find the value of this integral. We know that the integral of 1 over s squared plus 1 is what? Arctan, right? Arctan of s and then evaluated from the lower limit s to the upper limit infinity. So if we try to substitute, we have arctan of s which approaches infinity minus arctan of s we know in inverse tangent that as x approaches infinity arctan of x approaches pi over 2 so therefore it is equal to pi over 2 minus arctan of s okay now comparing the first representation of our Laplace transform for sine t over t, which is this one, to the one that we got here, which is this one, we can equate them. So, so this is also equal to the integral of e raised to negative st sine t over t dt from 0 to infinity, which they are both function of s. Now, if we let s be equal to 0 in both sides, we can have integral of e raised to negative 0 t sine t over t dt from 0 to infinity equal to pi over 2 minus arctan of 0. Therefore, we have the equation integral of e raised to 0 or simply 1. So, we can remove it. So, we just simply have sine t over t dt from 0 to infinity equal to pi over 2 minus arctan of 0 is 0. So therefore, we have evaluated the integral of sine t over dt from 0 to infinity as simply pi over 2. And comparing it on the original problem, we have integral of sine h over h dh from 0 to infinity multiplied by 5. We just need to multiply this expression which is equal to this pi over 2 by 5. So 5 pi over 2. So therefore the answer to this problem is simply 5 pi over 2. Okay? Okay so that's it for this video. So I hope you learned something new from this video and thank you for watching.